kali ini saya akan berbincang-bincang dengan salah satu mantan pemain Persija Jakarta tahun 2010. Tapi saat ini beliau sudah beralih profesi menjadi asisten pelatih di salah satu klub di Singapura. Siapa dia kalian penasaran kan? Kita langsung ke Panaji. Nah, ini dia Mustafiq Fahrudin. Hello. Hello, hello, hello everyone. I'm good. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm good too. Okay. Yes. Um, hello. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me to be uh, your guest today. Of course, uh, it's for me is a pleasure to, to to be your guest. As uh, I thought, after 10 years, nobody remember me. Last time I was uh, in was 2010. But of course, Jack Money again showing that why they are one of the best supporters in Indonesia. Um, two years ago, when I was with Tampines Rovers, they they really accepted me very well and then they welcomed me very well. So just show that how loyal they are to the club, how, how much they, they appreciate that, that the players and the work uh, they're doing for the club. So again, I think um, uh, I would li I would, I would like to say uh, thank you all of all of them yeah. uh, for having me today and then uh, and they still remember me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mustafik, uh, what's your activities lately? Uh, not much, to be honest. Now I think because of this uh, COVID-19 situation. We are all like limited now, so now I think most of the time I at home spend with my, my with my with my my wife and my kids. So yeah, no 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 much to do. At, as everything here in Singapore is, is is closed and locked down. So yeah, now more it's a family time now. Yeah, stay safe, okay? Uh, uh, apa yang kita tahu bahwa uh, Singapore ini kan telah melakukan lockdown sejak tanggal 7 April kemarin. How does the uh, situation in Singapore during this pandemic? Yeah, now it's getting better. I think there was a um, last last one or two months was uh, quite difficult, but now getting better. And now that the government take this uh, situation very serious, and then um, uh, they take some uh, measure, I, I guess, which have to be done. So from second June uh, onwards, they're, they're, they're planning to ease those measures, and then um, they open up slowly, and then uh, hopefully that. Uh, in, in the, the cases will uh, keep, keep it low and then I uh, hopefully in the, the, the very fast we will go back to the to the field because I think everyone of us missing missing football. How's your career? Did you enjoy with your job right now as a uh, assistant coach in Tampines Rover, right? Yes, correct. Yes, I'm uh, I'm with Tampines Rovers FC right now. I think uh, I, I to be honest, I feel lucky to be honest because I play for Tampines Rovers almost 15 years. Then there's not many players who, after playing career, continue as a, as a, as a, as a coaches or any any stuff. So for me to to to, to be assistant coach is a it's a it's a it's a pleasure for me. So yes, we we uh, I retired 2018. So this is my second year as an assistant coach, enjoying my job, enjoying uh, being around the players, and then enjoying to try yeah. to try to help and share my experience with the with the young players. Yeah, you tired at the age of 35, all right? Seven, uh, sorry. What's your tips to play football for a long time? Yes, uh, I retired at age 37, which is until 2018. The tips, I think it's 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 yeah. uh, there's no 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 to be honest, no 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 big secret. I think you just have to be disciplined. That's that's the key. The discipline that you have to organize yourself properly. Uh, your your whole day. Your, your, your food, your training, your sleeping time. So it's just discipline to yourself and then and then uh, keep working hard. Yeah. Okay. You played for Persija for one season, yeah? What's your talk about Persija at the time? I think, I think all this now, 10 years later now, I think it's just say that um, how much, uh, how much is, uh, that, that place is special for me. Uh, Persija is a massive, massive club. I think when I come there, everyone accepts them so well. And then going and playing in, in Bukarno Stadium as an experience, an 80, 90, 100,000 people is just a, it's just a dream. Yeah. What's, what's your uh, reason to play for Persija? At the time, I was uh, I, I was with a national national team. I think we played Suzuki Cup, and there, there was a, our group whole group, uh, Singapore, uh, Indonesia, Myanmar and Cambodia, we are, we are based in Jakarta at that time. So uh, we, uh, all of our group stage games used to play in Bunkarno. So so um, after you, you go there, after we play three games, after you, you 
you, you see the, 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 the real football environment, the, 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 then you just like it. And then later on when the offer come and then I, I didn't hesitate to, to accept the offer. So the most uh, memor memorable match in Persija, what the most memorable? Oh, that was a lot of nice game, but I will, I will say, I will say the derby against Percy Bandung. That was a that special, really special, uh, special game because that I think that the rivalry between Prestige is, is, is Bandung is really, is really massive. So I wanted to experience that. I wanted to feel that, and then I, I can say it's really special. What uh, the unique uh, moment when you play for Persija? A uh, unique moment. Yeah. Well, I will say maybe the result wasn't the best, but I will say the game against Arema in Jakarta when we play against Arema was, a, I guess, was 90,000 people. It was unbelievable atmosphere when, when you have a half of the stadium in orange and half was uh, blue, blue, uh, blue and white. And then it was just uh, when, we go, when we go for the warm up, then you just look around, you just cannot believe how, how much people and, and the noise there. So it was. It was really yeah. nice, nice moment. Maybe from para the Jackmania, yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, who is Persija players close to you? Persija player, uh, I would say Leo Saputra. Leo Saputra. Yes, oh. Leo Saputra. I think from day one uh, when I come to Persija, he was uh, he was really nice to me, very welcome to me. He was always there there for me, and then uh, until today we are still in touch, and then. Uh, Uh, when he came to Singapore, and then I mean, he, two years ago when I was in Jakarta, we moved up for coffee, and we always oh, nice oh. to see him and talk to yeah. talk with him. Okay, you are played alongside by Haki. Does help you? Uh, does he help you to adapt in Persija? Oh yes, yes, definitely. By uh, me and by we are together one year, and then we are roommate for one year, and that's very important. And he's in Indonesia, as you know. You spend a lot of time traveling. You spend a lot of time in, in the in the hotels and the, and in the, in the camps. So me and Bai we are together, and then at the same time Bai can speak can speak Bahasa. Yeah. So in the beginning, so he was helping me translating stuff. So yeah, definitely Bai Bai helped me a lot. Okay, what city you love the most in Indonesia? I think it has to be Jakarta. Jakarta. Oh. <laughs> it has to be Jakarta. I think I, yeah. again I spent there one year and then. Uh, I really have all positive, uh, all, all positive to take uh, from from Jakarta. Okay, okay. right now uh, there are some players like Ramdani, Ismail Sofyan, and Bambang Pamungkas, uh, who became uh, in Persija's manager right now. You know, do you remember them? Of course, of course, yeah. I remember them. Ramdani was he was a young boy at that time. He was young. He was coming coming up, but he was a very talented player at that time. But Ismet and Bambang. Who don't know these two? I think they are they are absolute legend, both of them. I think uh, um, uh, Ismet is. Uh, I, I I remember him playing against me for national team, and then later he became my teammate. And Bambang, of course, he was a uh, he 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 he's also one uh, someone who helped me a lot in in Persija because uh, he's the because of the language. I think there's not many players in Indonesia in in that time. I don't know now, but that time that can speak English. But Bambang is definitely one who who is always closest to the foreigners so he he can speak english and then he's always there to, uh, to offer his help whatever you need so so yes of course i, I remember all of them very very well uh, so what's your memories about uh jackmania oh <laughs> jackmania i uh honestly it's uh, the feeling the feeling it's a, it's a feeling when you go for the game i think when you, when you are stepping on that pitch and then you see Every single game, forty, fifty thousand of them, and then I think special thing about them and that that atmosphere in Bunkarno is uh, well, no matter how result goes, you, you go down or you're leading uh, by three, four goals, they're always behind you. They keep going, they keep going. It's just amazing how much, uh, how much the 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 the, the, the wing and the, 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 the giving you back and the, the, the help that the, the afford to the players to give to the players. So it's always uh, it's always uh, always nice to. To, to, to feel that atmosphere and then when you when you win and then you see them in the town you, you really feel pleased yeah what's uh, what's your memories about uh, Glora Bunkano stadium I think one of the nicest stadium I, I really I play it's a uh, I think all that uh, the, the changing room underground and the, the tunnel and then the moment you come up 
and then step on the field and then uh, it's a special place special place and special especially when it's a uh, when you have Jackmania, 40, 50,000 of them, and then when they when they shout, when they, it's a, it's a really great place to play, and the, the noise, the, the noise uh, inside the stadium is just is just uh, amazing. Your hope for your career and of course for Persija. Um, of course, I now I, I hope my my we be back on the pitch first and uh, and and uh, go back to the training and everything, and then uh, I hope for my club, of course that. Uh, we started well this season. I hope that, that, that seven years. We, last year we win Singapore Cup, but this uh, seven years we never win the title. So I really hope that we that we, we, we win the title this year. And then uh, for Persija, of course, uh, I think two years ago they also champions. This year I think that they have a good team. That they have a really good chance. Uh, they build 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 strong team. They have good chance to, to win some trophies. So I hope both of us can uh, can win some trophies and maybe next year. We, we can meet together my club again. This is Persidian AFC. It will be nice to go back there and and, and, and and feel the atmosphere again and feel the Jackmania, feel Jackmania again. Greeting, greeting for the Jackmania. Ah, okay. In in, in Malayu. Yeah, yeah, in Malayu. Oh, I think I forget Malayu. I don't. <laughs> Saya rindu Jackmania. Okay, thank you, Musafi, for your time. Stay safe. Thank you very much. For having yeah, me healthy. Uh, Gue Persija. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Action. Okay, Jack itulah sedikit uh, perbincangan antara saya dan salah satu mantan pemain Persija pada tahun 2010, yaitu Mustafiq Farudin yang sekarang telah menjadi asisten pelatih dari salah satu klub uh, di Singapura. Uh, jangan lupa untuk support terus channel YouTube Persija dengan cara subscribe, like, comment, and share. Dalam keadaan pandemi ini, semoga kita tetap sehat, stay safe, and semoga pandemi ini cepat berakhir dan kita kembali normal kembali. Oke, okay, gue Persija, gue champion.